Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at evaluating limits involving radicals. So we have evaluate the following limits and we're going to do two examples but the first one is the limit as x approaches 2. 2x two minus 4 over radical 2 minus radical x. Now your first line of attack with limits is to plug in. But if we plug in 2, notice we're going to get 0 over 0 which is indeterminate so we have to rearrange this algebraically. So what we want to do is we're going to multiply by the conjugate of radical 2 minus radical x. And just a tip, when you're doing these, some students might try to multiply by the conjugate of 2x minus 4, but most of the time you're going to have to multiply by the conjugate of the term involving the radical. Okay, because if there were no radicals, you could probably just factor it right away. So looking at this here, we could now rewrite this. We have the limit as x approaches 2, and now we could express this as a single fraction. We'll do the denominator first. When we multiply this binomial by its conjugate, we could use this difference of two squares concept to go through this process faster. We're going to do radical 2 times radical 2 is 2, minus radical x times radical x is x. So using this helpful tip, it'll kind of speed up the process and your work won't have like a ton of, it won't take up a ton of space. Now, when we multiply the terms in the numerator, we have to be careful. The goal, because our form is indeterminate, is to get factors to cancel. Like we want 2 minus x to cancel. So if we multiply these two together, that's going to make this really complicated and not allow us to cancel any factors. So we're going to take 2x minus 4 and we're going to factor that as 2 times x minus 2. And now we're just going to write the other factor next to it, radical 2 plus radical x. So remember, at this step, do not multiply these two together because if you look, x minus 2 over 2 minus x is going to cancel out. But remember, when they cancel, it's going to generate a negative 1 because the factors are flipped. If it was x minus 2 over x minus 2, they would cancel and you know we wouldn't need to put a negative here. So then for the next stage of this problem, we could simplify this a bit. This is the limit as x approaches 2. And we have negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And we have radical 2 plus radical x. So now that the factor is removed, we can plug in now. So then to simplify this limit, this limit is equal to negative 2 times radical 2 plus, and instead of radical x, we're going to replace x with 2. So now this simplifies to negative 2, and we have radical 2 plus radical 2 is 2 radical 2. And if we multiply the coefficients, we're going to get negative 4 radical 2. So this is our solution to the first example. Okay, so now for the second example, we have the limit as x approaches negative 3 of radical 2x plus 7 minus 1 over x plus 3. So we're going to multiply by the conjugate of the binomial involving the radical. So we're going to have radical 2x plus 7, and then outside the radical, we're going to have plus 1. So we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by this expression here. Now once again, this helpful tip should help us simplify the numerator somewhat fast. That this is going to be the limit as x approaches negative 3, and when we multiply these two radicals together, we're going to get radical 2x plus 7 times radical 2x plus 7 is just 2x plus 7. And now we have minus 1 times 1 is just 1 over, and we're going to leave the denominator in factored form. We're not going to multiply those two together, because remember, it's only going to overcomplicate this, and nothing will cancel if we do. So then at this stage here, this is just going to give us 2x plus 6, so we could go ahead and combine like terms here. 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. And then at this stage, Notice, you may say, you're, initially you may say nothing is going to cancel, but notice if we factor out a 2 from 2x plus 6, we're going to have 2x plus 3, which then will cancel this factor down here. So we're going to have, for the next line, the limit as x approaches negative 3, and we have 2 times x plus 3 over x plus 3 times radical 2x plus 7, and then plus 1. So now the x plus 3, x plus 3 cancels, and we could rewrite this limit as the limit as x approaches negative 3, and we have 2 over radical 2x plus 7, 
and then plus 1. So now we're ready to plug in. We plug in x is negative 3, and we're going to get 2 over 2 times negative 3 plus 7 under the radical, and then plus 1. But notice here, this is going to give us negative 6 plus 7, which is going to give us the square root of 1. So this is now 2 over the square root of 1 plus 1, which is 2 divided by 2, and 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So the limit as x approaches negative 3 for our second example here should work out to positive 1. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on evaluating limits involving radicals. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.